Hey guys, welcome to the video on how to transform your moon sign. In this video, we're going to talk about how to step into the highest potential of your moon sign using something called the draconic chart in astrology. And I'm going to later in the video actually show you step by step how to do this. I'm the Saffron Sage, helping you bring darkness to light. And let's talk about the moon. This is video four in a four part free video series about the moon called Moon Mastery. So if you haven't already seen video one, two, and three, go to my Facebook page and check out video one and two. Go to my Facebook group, check out video three. They are all 100% free because I want you guys to have this information. So what is a draconic chart? All right, so a draconic chart is a type of astrology chart. And what it does is it basically tells you what higher self you came to embody in this life. It's this amazing tool I just learned recently about and has helped me so much just to handle my emotions by knowing what moon sign I'm supposed to step into. So our natal chart at birth is like a snapshot of the sky when we're born. It's where all the planets are at that moment and it never changes. So for me, for example, my moon is in Pisces. That's where the moon was in the sky when I was born. It will always be that way. But what I didn't know is that the draconic chart shows me that my moon is in a different sign. So here's what you need to know. We all have a north node. The draconic chart is lined up with the north node and puts the north node at the zero point of Aries. If you don't understand this, don't worry. Just trust that this is your higher self. This is the higher self you came to embody. If you're into astrology and you wanna know what kind of chart this is, it lines your north node up with zero degrees Aries and that is the chart you have from there. So what this means, what you need to know about this is the further your north node is from Aries, the more different your higher self is gonna be from the person you came in as. Now, if you are one of those people who your north node is in near zero degrees of Aries, that means you are already, you didn't come here to transform into someone else it means you are already really, really close to being on your path. So don't feel, if you're one of those people, don't feel like you're missing out on something because you don't have some huge crazy transformation to make. It just means you've probably done that transformation already in so many lifetimes. You've probably done the work of aligning with your purpose so strongly that in this lifetime, you're so close to it that you don't have to make major changes to be on that road to your purpose. So uh, your life will be to live out your highest self in this lifetime, it will be a little bit easier. For those of us like me, where your North Node is in a different place besides Aries, there's just more opportunity for transformation. And it's not good or bad, you guys. It's not good or bad, so don't think of it like that. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually show you how to pull the draconic chart, how to look at where your moon sign is based on that chart, and then you will be able to know what moon sign is your ideal moon sign. So how this works is, for example, my moon is in Pisces, right? So that means my natural state, you know, my natural way of being is very emotional. Pisces is actually an addictive sign. So moon and Pisces can have addictions, which is true for my life. I actually went to treatment and got sober when I was 13 years old and I am still alcohol free. And um, that's an important part of my life because of that Pisces moon. However, my moon in my draconic chart is an Aquarius, which is a completely different energy. What that means is for me to be my highest self, instead of having Pisces moon-like qualities, which is the negative side, everyone has a positive or negative, right? So the negative side of those would be like wanting to just escape in, in all ways, right? I wanna escape or being super emotional or just not having an, and boundaries when it comes to emotions. I might uh, feel other people's emotions too much and not be able to like mind my own emotional business sometimes. But Aquarius is totally different, right? Moon and Aquarius are kind of aloof. They don't really care <laughs> that much about how other people feel, honestly. Moon and Aquarius people sometimes can actually be a little bit offensive because they can, uh, they just are like above it all almost um is the best way to say it and they it's because they know so much right moon and aquarius people know so much 
that they don't understand why other people struggle because they're like, can't you see this? I don't get it. So what this means to me, and I'm spelling this all out so that you can hopefully apply this to your own moon signs. Um, what this means to me is when I catch myself being overly emotional, I have to like set aside those emotions. The more I can set aside my emotions instead of going into them, which is what I used to do, the better my life is. And I found that to be a transformational tool that has changed everything. It's especially changed my daily habits. And I think the reason for that is because for me, the moon is in the sixth house of daily routines. So my emotions naturally will really get in the way of getting stuff done, of living my life, of doing my daily work, because I just, oh, I have so many emotions. And this is just such an easy tool to use is to embody that Aquarius moon. So I hope this little guideline helps you to know how to apply that to your moon sign. And if you have questions, drop them below. And in the next part of the video, you guys, we're gonna, I'm actually gonna show you how to pull this chart. And if you still have questions or you still wanna go deeper, there's a couple things you can do. One is you can book a private reading with me and we can look at it really deeply. We can look at your moon and what it's aspected to and we can look at your draconic chart and just how they all relate. We can look at your progress moon and the transits and just what you're experiencing right now emotionally. And another option, if you are more interested in the transformational aspect of these videos, is I have a amazing course on spiritual self mastery. It's a mini course and it helps you align with your North node and embody the archetype of your North node. So this is about becoming the person you came here to be really stepping into your purpose, clearing past life patterns and you know, getting, getting the tools you need to light up your own spiritual path, right? Because I can't tell you the way for you, your spiritual path is unique to you but I can help you by giving you all the tools that I have, which is my goal. So with that being said, you guys, let's get into the how-to part of the video. All right, guys, so in this video, we're going to go straight into the tutorial for the draconic chart, how to find where your moon is placed in that draconic chart. So the first thing we're gonna do is go back to our astro.com. If you didn't see the other two tutorials, you can check those out. Um, for the more beginner information here, but we're going to go to free horoscopes again And we're going to do with the right hand side here on Extended chart selection now. I'm also going to pull up in another tab My natal chart so I can show you guys the difference and you can do that as well if you'd like to compare the two So for that just natal chart um, So as we are reminded here my moon is in Pisces you can also see your moon sign up here in this box on the upper left hand corner and notice the sun is at the top the moon is the second one down and it tells you on that line what sign and degree your um, all your planets are but you can always check it out that way if you are not as familiar with the symbols yet in astrology so going back to the draconic chart all right so I've pulled up extended chart selection now I'm gonna to go to chart type and remember you can pause this video or slow it down if you need to. And I'm gonna select all the way at the bottom here, draconic chart, and then click here. And as you can see, you guys, the moon, look, it's still in the same place, but there's a new sign here. It's no longer in Pisces, it's moved, and now it's in Aquarius. So this is how I know that my draconic moon is in Aquarius. All right, guys, that was the video on how to transform using your moon sign. As always, give me a like, leave me a comment. If you like this video, let me know in a comment below if you wanna see more videos like this or if you have other questions about the moon in general, transformation, or your moon sign. And don't forget to join my course and don't forget to go to those other videos in this series if you haven't watched them yet and there will be links below. All right, guys, that is it for me today. I will see you in the next video.